a tutorial for IXL C.1, identifying the narrative point of view. Okay, so before we even jump into actually doing a problem, I just want to talk a little bit about what, you, what each of these things means and how you can spot them. So first person narrative point of view is going to be I, me, my, right? So it's going to be like, I went to the store, I bought pizza, okay? Second person is going to be you, okay? You went to the store, you bought pizza. Third person is going to be, they went to the store, Robert went to the store, Robert bought pizza, they bought pizza, that kind of stuff, okay? Third person limited is going to be that the character doesn't know everything in the story, right? So um, if your narrator is, has a limited view, they can't see everything that's happening all at once, then that's a limited third person perspective. Third person omniscient just means that they can see everything and that they know the character's thoughts and everything about them at all times. Okay, so let's do a couple of these together and see if we can tell. Right, so the thing you're going to notice is that this has an I in it. Okay, but this I is also in quotes, so it's not the narrator's voice that's talking. So that's a little trick that they're going to get you with. So let's look here. The traffic of the great city went on in the deepening night upon the sleepless river. We so this is in the narrator's voice. We looked on, waiting patiently. There was nothing else to do till the end of the flood. Okay. So when they say we like that, that's first person, right? Um, because the character who is the narrator is also a character in the story, right? And the story is being told from their perspective. So when we say we, that is first person. All right, let's do another one. The door opened, and in an old man and old woman came out carrying bowls of rice and soup and leafy branch of and a leafy branch of peaches. Have you eaten rice today, little girl? They gave me an egg as if it were my birthday, and tea, though they were older than I, but I poured for them. The teapot and the rice pot seemed bottomless, but perhaps not. The old couple ate very little except for the peaches. So you see the quotes, they end here. Okay. But they're using my here and I, which is another indication that it's first person. The girl believed that her father had not deserted her. She lived in the hope that he would come back and in the faith that he would be made the happier by her remaining where she was. The wretched ignorance with which Jupe, Lupe clung to this consolidation consolation, rejecting the superior comfort of knowing on sound arithmetical basis that her father was an unnatural vagabond, filled Mr. Gradgrind with pity. Okay. So we got the girl. So it's not I, right? So that's definitely third person. And they also know things about her thoughts, right? Which would make them omniscient because if they can read minds then that means they're omniscient so let's try that i really want to find a second person one for you guys here so let's see if we can find one that is a second person here real quick so i'm just going to answer a couple of these until i see one that looks like it's second person So I'm going to pause this for a second, come back when I find one. Okay. So here's one, right? They fly quickly over the snow in their sledges. The motion is pleasant and, in my opinion, far more agreeable than that of an English stagecoach. The cold is not excessive if you are wrapped in furs, a dress which I have already adopted. Right? So they say you here. Okay, but then they have I here, so how do you know which one it's supposed to be, right? Well, the answer to that is when they you say you here, they're not referring to a person who's a character in the story, but they are telling it from the first person perspective, right? So, um, so this one is actually going to be first person. Maybe. All right, guys. So again, just to review, I, me, my, we, you, your, uh, 
can't read minds. They, them, he, she, the person's name. Can read minds. They, them, he, she, the person's name. So, all right, y'all. Let me know if you have any questions.